Hello cargo trailer camper community. I'm here to make a video um, about our trailer. This is our second. So this is our cargo trailer camper 2.0. Our first was a six by 10 and this one is a seven by 12 with a double axle instead of a single. So I'll go through and kind of explain a few things that we did and why we did them and what was different. So here we go. Okay, the first thing that was different from our first unit to the second is this right here. We currently have ourselves plugged in at the house, so we just have a little pigtail and then on a regular extension cord. We used to just have a shore power extension cord plug in for our trailer, and then this time we did a 30 amp um, capability. So we have, when we go camping and go to the campgrounds and stuff, we can plug in easier to and have enough power to run more than one appliance, so to speak, at one time, because we used to not be able to run the air conditioner at the same time as we did something else. So now that's different. And then we also have an outside plug here, which we had and the other one, which just makes it easy if you wanna plug in some lights or something uh, to hang outside. This is our entry here. We have the magnetic screen, which is what a lot of people do, which we did um, on the first one, which worked really great. We really love it. One thing that he did upgrade here, I moved the door. So we bought a new lock that has a push button so that we, if you didn't have your key, you could put in the numbers and then open up the door or lock it either way works really great very happy with that um, something we also did with both of them is this little peephole at the top debated on having some sort of a camera system but we just opted for a peephole to start with so we might upgrade later so here is the inside which we did a little different than what a lot of other people did. Our kitchen is in the back as a galley. So here we have is our sleeping area. So here's the inside. So we have a full bed here and then also, as I can try to get the best angle for you, you can see that there's a little end table on either side of the bed. So there's walking space on either side so nobody has to climb over somebody. That was one of the things that was the big change from the first one to the second one. The first one at six by 10, the bed had to go this way instead of like this. And so I always had to climb over to get up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night. And I didn't want to do that anymore. So we did this with the full. And as you can see on this side, I've cut, there's a little pole there. That's just to help keep the drawers in place while we're moving. And then you take it out and I can use it in the back to uh, mark where the, <clears throat> cables are so that you don't trip and hit yourself on something as you're trying to go towards the back where the kitchen is at. Above here is two upper cabinets and stored. That's for our clothes. Another thing that was different from the first one is that we had put in just a window when we ordered the trailer and we just had them install so we would have some sort of breeze. This time we bought a trailer without and bought a window ourselves that could be an emergency exit window and installed it. So then now we have the ability to take off that screen and use that window as an exit point within the unit. This is the V. And so on the bottom there on the left, you can see is the porta potty. You can pull that out um, during the evening and it sits right there in front of this mirror that's on the wall. Above that is a little shelf that has an extension cord um, that we can use to plug in things outside. Um, and then next to that actually is our heater it's just a little ceramic heater that you can plug in and then uh, over the top of it actually is our garbage can. It just stores on top. And then we opted to have our cooler inside uh, for a couple different reasons. We wanted to make sure that it wasn't uh, getting a lot of sun exposure and working harder. And then we also bought a nicer cooler than what we had last time. So this one actually holds the ice a lot better. We opted for a cooler versus a refrigerator because we didn't want to have to rely on being plugged in. Um, for our electricity somewhere and we weren't installing um, extra things like solar and inverter and so the other difference then too is you can see that the tire is in front of the cooler um, we had our tire mounted on the outside last time and it had a lot of damage as far as um, sun damage and whatnot there was a lot of oxidation and things we felt like the tire wasn't going to last as well if it was outside so if there was a way to include it in the interior we wanted to and so there it is in the front and then next to that is our AC unit. I know a lot of people go with the splits. We didn't really feel like we needed a split. We're in Michigan, doesn't get hot like Texas or some of the Southern states. So this unit works just fine. One of the things that we had in our previous one is um, with this type of unit, we had it and we had to 
hook it up all the time and pull it out it wasn't too difficult but um so i didn't want to have to do that so this is permanently hooked up so i can just power it on and then the um ac is vented out then through the floor so it's permanently hooked up for venting and then here is the panel that we installed that goes so we have a couple circuits and then up here is a shelf which as you can see right now it just has a little bit in it and a couple towels and um, the empty space on the right we use that to store our shower caddies which they're just not in here right now because it gets too it does get hot just to leave the stuff out here and it gets kind of gross so we just store those in the house when we come home and another cool little thing that we did in the first one which we did in this is this is just a shower curtain so when you want to I got the fan things in the way right now but you can take and just pull that across you don't have to close the door if you want to just like say change your shirt it's really easy just you pull that across the door and you're good to go so another really cool thing about our bed is this this is storage under the bed so just a couple more things on the interior we um as an upgrade this time we bought these panels these are actually from menards um they're big four by eight sheets last time we painted in the interior and i just really felt like um i wanted it to look nicer inside and so we opted to spend a little extra money and buying these panels and it really wasn't that bad i think we spent maybe i think it was like a 400 to buy the panels to go all the way around and it just really makes the camper look a lot more finished and a lot more attractive this here is the floor um these are foam tiles you can see as i'm trying to pick one up i got ones that had a really nice uh, pattern to match with all the other colors that we were putting in here uh, we used the foam tiles on the first one and i really liked them because it was super easy to replace one if there was damage and they were very easy to clean and they're not very expensive um, and then they actually add some nice little bit of insulation and sound absorption for with inside the unit okay welcome to the galley kitchen so here in the back we have two base cabinets that one side uses um, and holds our plates and pots and pans, things like that. And then the other side has a bin with some miscellaneous things like a hammer and rope and just general utility type things. And then also has area in bins to store food. So then we in, um, put on, we painted on the ramp. It's like a special paint for decks. So it has like a texture to it, so it's grippy. So that way, if it is wet, you don't find yourself slipping. And then this here is our awning that stores inside and it is mounted on the wall just above in the back. So here we go um, on the counter. So I have here on the end is our Keurig maker and next to that is an ice maker. Those both store in this cabinet underneath and so I just pulled them out so you could see that we had those and that's what we use for making coffee and making iced tea. And then on this side, we have a water jug and that there is one of those spouts, you just press it. It uh, runs by battery and rechargeable by USB. Super great because then um, you don't have to think about any of the running water stuff. It was just a lot easier for what we wanted to do. and. Um, then I can just take that jug and put it in the pickup bed and any other jugs of water that we might want to bring along And then I can also move it out of the way and it creates lots of space. This here was an, an upgrade from the last time These are actually as funny as it is an upgrade. These are those stick-on tiles that I bought these off of Amazon They look really great. Very happy with how they turned out. This is like the um, Contact paper that has like a wood grain to it little disappointed in how that worked out but it is what it is so we're just going with it um we left space to do an extra long towel bar this time that was one of the things that we didn't have enough space to put up the towel bar and hang up towels as you're washing you just creates lots of dirty dishes um create lots of wet towels <laughs> get that out right and then um here in the top drawer is our camp stove that you pull out and then you hook up the little propane tanks to. It fits in this top drawer. Perfect. 
And then each of these cabinets also have little magnets to help keep them from opening while you're traveling. So then here we have miscellaneous utility stuff on the right. Over here on the left is where um, you have some food bins and then like all the little K-cups. And then there's the propane tanks for the propane stove. And then this side right here, there's an empty little space. You can see there's a couple pool noodles there. They actually have a slit in them. So if I wanted to, I could put them on this cable to help also mark where it's at. And then behind that actually is an empty, well, not empty, an old camp chair bag that has the fire pies in it. So it's a great place to tuck and store them aside so then they're not in the way. And then this side over here, top drawer, silverware, towels, hot pans. And then down below is where we have the extra, there's the hot pot. Um, plates and things and then on this side in the empty space that's a little bag that holds one of those campfire grills that you can put over cooking for cooking over your campfire that just stores right there so this is the galley kitchen so that's our build I'm sure there's things that I forgot so hopefully I will um, be able to add in some comments on the video after I'm finished putting it all together uh, for the different things that I forgot to tell you about. Uh, I hope that helps. When we did our first build about seven years ago, there weren't as many people doing the cargo trailer conversion, so I didn't have as much to go with. But you know, there's a lot more people doing it today, so keep sharing your ideas. Hopefully ours gives you some ideas about what you want to do and what you wouldn't want to do for yours. So have fun and good luck.